South team now operating in a six on six. Quentin Bookman, we talked about in the open, splits to his right. It's in size and buries the bounce. Bookman bound. is an elite shooter from the standpoint that he can go left or right, so you have to play him and respect both hands. This kid is probably actively on defense. Xander Dixon, Duke bound, excuse me, Virginia bound. Gets his own rebound. Inside in the goal, Kelly finds Nikki Solomon. Jacob Kelly. And the point production as high schoolers in the state of Georgia, video game like. He's heading off to North Carolina. Will also, try his luck as a. Solomon to X. Kelly's got the defense hung up. Kelly turns the corner, takes the extra step to greatness. Curls Owen, who doesn't get smoked often, but a poor angle in terms of his approach to Kelly. So Kelly gets quick step on Bowen, and he's playing catch up the entire time. And and he's feeling it early. Our statistician Russ Lynn alerts me that the South now up in shots, 10 to one. Make that 10 to two. It's off the face off the North. Strikes quickly Griffin Cook. The struggle they've had the last few years after Kevin Rice graduated in 2015, they've had some nice attackmen with Solomon and Rafis and Bomberry. Really creative goals. I got bored at home. I just go to my backyard and start shooting hours. I'd get bored. I broke my left collarbone, so I just started shooting with only my right hand. I think that's when it got really strong. And boy, just scored over there. That was sweet. Talk about shooting. You saw that. That was nice. But yeah, it was a uh, yes, great creator. And you can see he's a scoring threat. He was a disruptive force this year when I got to watch him play. He played for McDonough. He's going to play a little, little short stick at times, a little long pole. He's going to play a year of lacrosse and then sniff out football at Penn as well. Could be a, a two-sport guy in the Ivy Carolina. He can't start from day one as Ledman splits and swims and dives. And Bonafide, he makes a save down low. Ledman come out to watch this game every year. These are the stars of the future. Best of the best in the high school game. Chase Erlin makes a great stop. We'll have a chance at Cornell to compete for time right away as Christian Knight's moved on to Major League Lacrosse. Ferrer inside and an easy goal in transition from Nikki Solomon. So it's starts on. Starts with the defense and Erlin with a beauty offside and then watch the tic-tac-toe. Tanner Hay, Ferrer, and Solomon back. Roll back, left-handed, nice defense. That was good midfield defense. Looks good. Okay. Virginia, five players here. Slow break for the South for the physical play. You tell me these guys aren't going at it. Double teamed and held. It's Chase Scanlon, left-handed rip from Isaiah Dawson. The founder of Nation United. Play at Harvard next year. He's got a base. He's got the strength. He's a guy day one that will give Harvard an edge. Underclass tournament is really helpful to pick the 2019 group that'll be on this field a year from now. And then in waves over the course of the fall and spring, we start to whittle down the field and then ultimately come to the 44 selections. And inside lacrosse does an amazing job. Ty they had to. Big. It was big. Joe Stein and, and uh, Brian Smith. Head and shoulder fake. Nice. Back to back stops by Bonafidi, but too much. This is an, an offense. Loyola in LA and, and, and then the San Ramon Valley team up north. What I like about this as well is with Erickson, you see him just sniping left handed. Matt Midfield right away, even if you're not one of those traditional. Look at 11 in blue. You like his approach, right? His stance. He's got, a, he's got a chance to play right away for John Tillman at Maryland next year. Feed inside. Good save by Bonafidi. Good rebound. Control, though. Just too much. The guys in white are swarming to the ball. And that's Chase Scanlon, IMG Academy. To Loyola University. And Coach Toomey's going to get a good one. And this guy is crafty. Has a lot of experience around the goal. And guess what? Young man, you're gonna get to play with a guy named Patrick Spencer, so if you can shoot and plays the harmonica. Down cloud rappers, harmonica players. It's got Loring, finds the corner. Nice shot on the rollback. That's Nick Loring. And you have Isaiah Dawson on the south. Overcommit, 
Fender's always trying to close out your middle of the field opportunities, but he goes hard down the left side and then rolls back. But with him, some of these other Ivies to get these top echelon recruits. Harvard was seven and six last year, 50 goal season. What kind of impact do you think that has? Yale winning that title with all those other Ivies that would spread the wealth in the past. You, Quug's Allen's on the field. Plugs in in. These are two guys who look like they could be players from day one. Yeah, because Cole Williams, as good as he is, he dodges a little differently. Nice look away pass. How about that dish from Tanner Hay? This is this is gorgeous. And you tell me that the this dude can ignite the offense. A little sky whammy down to the backside on the fake, and then that cutting midfield. Kyle Long, first time we mentioned his name. He'll play at Maryland. He's a great passer, and he picks up an assist to Jack Simmons. Cream for the boys in white tonight. It's a beautiful cut gets in up. location. He gets lit. Guys, Pat Laconi and Josh Hawkins, they had the green. Quite honestly, Matt Schmidt, who was in this game last year, sub 50%. Dixon, good handle in front. Xander Dixon, folks. Lacrosse, but he's got tremendous lacrosse IQ. And if you bring him in for the midfield, if you're Sean Kerwin, the offensive coordinator, you have quite the experience. I cannot wait. Austin's left handed ripped, saved by Bonnet against the defense of Evan Egan. 23 and White's going to play at North Carolina. Zinn with a rip. Hello. Kid, his last high school game scored six goals in an overtime loss to Fairfield Prep. He was 6 for 10 shooting with two pipes. Coach Billy Dwan, they associate, you smell the cookers in the back. Nice crowd on a beautiful night. The place is legit. Left-handed alley dodge. Shot on the run by Matt Magnum. See this dodge by Magnum. I think the, the trouble Magnum had in high school is got a one advantage on Sisselberger and a good duo nice shot on the run right hand and all of a sudden things are opening up dramatically Jack Simmons over him Paul he's a wide receiver in high school that's a typical L out of Salisbury playing for the great Bobby Wynn this situation changes keeps his head down and just grinds. He will be a way better face-off man his junior year because of the reps in practice against TD. Watch out for Joe Newman when he's a junior. One-handed wraparound shot and a gorgeous goal. Joey Epstein right away for the Blue Jays. This guy definitely can because you have Kyle Marr on the left-hand side. Cole Williams is a slasher. A dodger can run on both ends and I think Joey Epstein gets the keys to the off. Goal on some easy, uh, giving up some easy ground balls and then once the guys kind of start to focus on just the little things just like at every level, uh, things started to click and they started moving the ball and good things were happening. How much fun has it been to coach these guys and to get to know them? It's awesome. That's what, that's what makes me keep coming back each year. Uh, that was my favorite thing about coaching the team last year is getting to know the guys and getting a personal relationship and they're awesome incredible guys that, that are really stand-up individuals so it's fun to get to know them. And Ross you over got firecracker feet and I like this defense by Makar right now challenging and getting out he's got great feet 11 in navy blue I love his stick positioning but how about the move wow what a move to get around Joey Epstein now for real and if they give him a number one ranking when the final rankings come out I'm cool with it man this guy has serious game he's got vision from behind the cage he's got creativity Got some balance, too, and toughness. I was very impressed with his ability from close range. It'll be interesting to see if he can challenge Alex Rode for playing time in Charlottesville. Guess who's on fire, folks? Joey Epstein now has three goals here in the third quarter. Defense with his left hand. You just see the versatility and the overall skill of Epstein on this shot. Farrar brings it up in transition. Epstein catches it lefty and stink from the head coaching position. It's going to be hard to keep off the sideline. Birkinshaw goes down to his knees to the Isaiah Dawson. Splits to his left. Nice save by Birkinshaw and the aggressive outlet. Culture. Genuine uh, love of one another. I had a wonderful yeah. time spending time with them. They're just good guys. Mike Chanichuk, Isaiah Davis Allen, as you see. Nice spinning goal. 
Yeah, Tillman's got something going kid on. needs is just competition on a consistent basis to be pushed in practice every day. He loves the game of lacrosse. Awfully skilled. He's got the size. Both hands. I've watched this kid for a while. Look at Montgomery who came on at the end. He was really... Did he score seven regular season goals? Yeah, exactly. It was, it was really a non-factor. Seven in the playoffs. February, March, and through most of April. So it's... PJ's had a, a terrific game. One goal, two assists. He's been everywhere on the ground. And he is a quality, quality recruit for Mike Murphy. And that Penn Quaker team move on to Yale. Look at this pass by Chase Scanlon. Behind the back. That's the perfect time to throw that pass, too. There's top side. And Brandau, some student, too, right? Home yeah. of Carolina. You know, the, the Perry and Anderson are terrific. Oh, they're awesome. Chris Cloutier, though. To me, just was. That's by Kyle Long. I want to talk about Long in a second. He's heading to Maryland. Nice back, Dorfy. Oh, how about Patrick Birkenshaw? How about Sports Center? Top the screen. I mean, this is insane. Bing, bing. Not so. Virginia fast. Cavaliers going to have a situation. Alex Road was only 49% this season. College lacrosse. Go back on that feed. In February, I said that when I was watching tape from his freshman year. Phil Goss is unreal region so you always had the Long Islands and the upstate New York's and the Baltimore's but now with the with the Connie which is the Westchester Connecticut where could this thing be underclass wise say in five ten more years well I'll tell you what it with the continued arc and uh, I, I think we're gonna keep pushing in the growth if you are a young kid though in one of these areas hit a little bit more wall ball what is the next one possible Absolutely. <laughs> give a kid something to chew on well we have a big yeah. this whole concept is they talked about that very thing, Quentin, that it is in their DNA. And I can remember little guys 15 years ago showing up to. Yeah. Wing Dodge, 22 in white, part of a class that includes five Under Armour All-Americans. He's a slick player. That's a, that's a big time move, too. You see the hitch down. It's the defense. Different tryouts. Wow. And it's a parade of white, creepy vans, yes. Park. <laughs> <laughs> With a bunch of stinky guys in there. That was a hell of a shot. Yes, it was. It's high heat. This kid, Clay, all-time leading scorer in Michigan State history. Oh. He also runs his own. Acker in his game. A little bit of John Rannigan for Hopkins fans. And they look forward to, to Zinn with the turnover and an easy goal. Bryce Clay. I like Carco on a yacht or something. Extra man for the South now, up 20 to 12. They've shared the, sc the scoring load. It'll be interesting to see who gets the MVP award. And that's as good as it gets at the all-star level. His role has changed. That's good news for him because Jackson Morrill is back for Yale and so is Matt Gaudet. Some of them love it. Some of them do great with it. Yeah, the Eric Adamson's of the world and Michael Tagliaferri's. I'll take those guys on my team any Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Nice dish in front, Xander Dixon. Started playing third grade rec indoor. Here he is now. Guy's a strider. Patriots fan had football at Notre Dame. South Bend bound where John Sexton is no longer roaming the field. John John Lombardi for Hill, some of the best programs in the yeah. country. That guy go. Yeah, he played with Newman at Salisbury. I watched those games yeah. after our championship. They were, you see that dive shot by. What I like about Kelly's game, Kark, you watch this kid. He's a ferocious.